So welcome back and in this polymer tutorial we'll talk about the value of hash bank and what actually it does for us so i've actu actually gone ahead and put this value uh, for this hash bank as false so when we just click on different browser uh, links out here we see that the that there are no hash banks and the urls are totally pretty and you can just click on all uh, links and everything just works fine so what we use were they of any way so if we so to just tell you that i'll have to go ahead and demonstrate it maybe we have this all this working correctly and if i just go ahead and now kind of refresh the page okay so now if i just refresh the page we see that cannot get slash contact is happening so what is actually happening is that the browser is actually trying to go and fetch fetch this part fetch a slash contact file and since we don't have a slash contact file anywhere out here so this will this uh, thus this is giving a error and in case we want this to work we'll have to just map another kind of we'll either have to have a slash contact file or something like that or maybe we'll have to write in a whole lot of more code which will map these type of urls without the hashbang ones so what hashbang actually does first we'll put the value back to true and see what happens if we just put in true out here okay let's see what happens now okay okay so now also everything is working and if i just click on different links it works okay now if i guys just go ahead and refresh we see that the app is not working and everything is still working fine so the hash bank actually tells the browser to always go to the index.html file and then from there on it it just goes on to the next link it uh, it will find so first the file would go on to index.html file and then in the index.html file we have actually that all these things connected with pay with this app.js file out here and which maps the different urls so mm -hmm. that's why this thing works works in case of having hash bank to where it will first go on to the index.html file and then go on to another another place but in case uh, there is no hash bank present it what the browser tries to do or the server tries to do is to directly find a file with this name and since it is unable to find a file with this name it gives an error so if i just again put this value to false and go ahead and I'll just save it now even okay so even now if i go ahead and and press enter we see that cannot get slash users that's because the server is not trying to go ahead and fetch a slash users file and since since it is not present anywhere in the file in the app itself it's giving an error but in case of hash banks it first goes on to the html file index.html file which has this app.js connected to it sorry the routing.html file connected to it which maps the different urls and thus goes on to fetch the data the required data which has to be shown on the screen so that was the value of guys for hash bank and in the next tutorial we'll go on to fetch the params property from the url so as i had earlier told you that maybe like after users there's something like a rob or a, some person's name like in facebook you may see that there will be like facebook.com slash username and you want to fetch that username whatever you uh, you have entered in the url so to do that kind of things we'll, we'll see how to do this with page.js in the next tutorial so definitely stay tuned for the next tutorial guys and please subscribe to the channel like that videos if you liked it and please leave your comments because it helps us a lot and thank you